warm welcome to my channel. If you're a first timer or a subscriber, then it's lovely to have you on board. This film features a whopper. It is Europe's best selling pickup, the Ford Ranger, and it is here in the ultimate guise, the Raptor. I have got a special affinity with this car because I've been running it for a year and I love its pumped up styling. It has got big bumpers, it's got an aluminium skid plate and then it has got huge wheel arches. And this wheel itself may look small but that's only because it is wrapped in so much knobbly rubber that almost guarantees you will never curb this and you can see so much of the suspension from all angles that if there was a magazine called Suspension Monthly, this would be a pull-out poster pin-up. The Ranger's double cab features a sports hoop, which aids aerodynamics and makes the car look even meatier. Then we get to the business end of things, the load box. A friend of mine measures practicality by a pallet. So can you get a pallet in here? The answer is yes. It goes in really easily because the wheel arches don't intrude too much. There's also a power point and some hooks and I've carried all sorts of things in here from mountain bikes to three man blow up canoes. Oh yes. The colour coded roller shutter closes really well just by pulling this strap. Does need a good pull, but to get it open is a bit of a manhandling job. This tailgate has given me the best seat in the house when it comes to outdoor cinemas and family picnics. I think every car should have a tailgate. A little word of warning though, if you do clamber up with your knee first, then these ridges can be a little hard and I have the bruises to prove it. Now, one of the first vehicles I ever drove was a tractor on my parents' farm and ever since then I have loved stepping up into a vehicle and here, this strengthened aluminium sidestep helps you out, complete with the Raptor logo. And once you are up here, you are high enough to be a right old nosy parker. Just because it's got rugged looks doesn't mean to say that it's all spit and sawdust in here. Mm -mm. For starters, it's got a motorsport-derived centre marker on the steering wheel. Oh yeah. Then you have got sports seats, suede trim, a leather-lined dash, a rear-view camera, privacy glass, and one of my favourite features. It is a normal-sized plug socket. There is all the connected technology that you could wish for at the press of a finger and there's also Apple CarPlay that connects your smartphone into the very heart of the thing. Now in the back, whilst there is room for three, it's not quite as spacious as its size would have you believe because once you put in one or two hefty child seats, it gets a bit crowded back there. It feels super king size out on the road and that's underlined by the fact that you look down on a lot of traffic including many SUVs. Now you might be fooled into thinking that under the bonnet is a juicy V8 or at the very least a V6 but no. There is in fact a four cylinder two litre turbo diesel engine with 213 horsepower. It's mated to a 10-speed automatic gearbox, the same one that you'll find in the Mustang muscle car, and <laughs> look what we have here. Paddle shifters in a pickup. Also, unusually for most machines, let alone one like this, 
is the number of driving modes. There are six of them. Two are for the road, they are normal and sport, and the latter lets you change gears higher up the rev range, and on the way down, the changes happen when you want them to. It's a system that works well, but don't expect the dramatics that you get when you paddle shift in a supercar. Flat out from the off, we'll see 62 miles an hour appear in a respectable 10 seconds, and top speed is 106 miles an hour. Now, it's got the same amount of torque as an Audi R8 at 500 newton meters, but of course, this weighs a lot more. This is around two and a half tons, but that torque ensures the Raptor is quick enough out of T-junctions, onto roundabouts and off slip roads to keep up with all moving traffic. And I have never thought it lacking pace there. Where it absolutely shines though is with its suspension. No wonder that is on display all loud and proud. Now things start with a reinforced ladder frame chassis and then part of the setup are Fox Racing shock absorbers with special damping that help this car barely blink when it goes over a pesky pothole. There is no need for any fancy air suspension because it is not needed. Something quite wonderful happens, well, at least to me, when I'm driving this machine. I slow down. I don't want to rush anywhere. Driving this is like having a warm hug from a big brother. It's calming and it's relaxing. And I have never wanted a journey to end when I've been behind the wheel. Unless, of course, when the kids are screaming in the back. When it comes to cost, pickup trucks are classed as commercial vehicles, but the Raptor isn't. Now, because of its performance suspension, it means that it can't carry loads of a thousand kilograms or more. And so, just like a car, you have to pay fat. And so the price is £50,000. Worth every penny in my book. Off-road antics are well catered for. You have got a hill descent control, an electronic locking diff, high and low options, and then four driving modes. Grass, gravel, snow, rock, mud and sand, Baja. All I need now is a friendly farmer with a field to play in. Now, there are plenty of off-road modes as we have spoken about, but I've gone for Baja. Oh, yeah. For performance, speed, and let's see how those knobbly tires work out. Did I tell you it was rear-wheel drive? <laughs> oh, one of the reasons why I love pickup trucks. <laughs> The lovely thing about this car is that things happen in quite a lazy fashion and it would be an excellent starting point if you wanted to learn how to slide a car. Because you haven't got like nutty amounts of power. You've got a really easy steering once it goes sideways and it's all graceful and progressive. And how cool is this? A Raptor sideways. Yes please. Hubba hubba. Well, that is a huge amount of fun. But what if we raised the stakes? What if we did a jump? Well, here's one we made earlier. I have added three hay bales to the back just to help give it a bit of weight. And the hay bales probably weigh about 25 kilograms each. So we are in Baja mode. Whoa, 40 miles an hour. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what I call a Dukes of Hazard jump. Yeah! Let's do it again. Oh my 
gosh. Wowza. So much metal in the air. Oh, I feel like I'm inflicting pain on the car, but I know it can take it because it is so good. If you have ever thought about owning a pickup truck, just do it. And when you're going to do it, do it properly. The Ford Ranger Raptor has got me wrapped. Thank you so much for watching my channel and please do press subscribe so that you are ready for the next adventure. Until then, goodbye.